So one of the first features, I'm going to hit my tab key and switch out of here. Let me close my browser. Okay. Is that we can now take multiple, record multiple takes and create a comp both in MIDI and in audio. Okay. And to do that, I'm just going to take an audio track. Let's do an audio track here. I'm just going to mute the end. I'm going to use my microphone. Uh, so I'm just going to mute the output so it won't hurt us. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we wanted to see the takes on that track. We right click on the track and we go show, where is it? The take lanes right here. And we can see that it has two and I'm gonna blow it up. So now we can simply come from one to another by highlighting it like that, hitting enter. And you see it dropped it up here and then we can time stretch it too. If we wanted to by the corners, pull it as well. You see that how it's changing the top part over here as well. Another quick way to do it is to grab the pencil tool and draw across. I can select this section from that take this section from that take this one from here and this one from here. So I, the pencil seems to be faster for me, but Hey, it's just new. Who knows? Right. What's going to be faster. If we wanted to hear this, this take right here, we can hit the speaker button right here and it will play just that take one, for two, three, four, one. And if I wanted to play this one as well, two, four. And if I wanted to hear, of course, the main take, I would unsolo it and I would hear the comp on top. Another thing that's cool about this multiple takes is that it treats the clips independently. So I can go in here and change this clip just like any do any editing on any clip the regular way. So even though they're in the take lanes, you can individually um, change them in the clip view at the bottom. Another thing you can add as well is an empty um, take lane as, as well. Now, what I like about creating an empty take lane is you can kind of create your own loops. If you see it here, insert a take lane and it will create an empty one and it allows you to drop loops in there. So think about it. Maybe you could bring in like four different drum loops and then take different pieces of them and create your own loop. I think that's super dope. So yeah, to see that, just right click on a track and go to show our uh, take lanes and you'll see it. And it's the same thing for the MIDI as well. Every time you loop record, it records another take over and over. You can open up the take lanes and um, create your own takes. So cool update, Ableton.